Hello, welcome to Oceanic Oracle. My name is Ari and today I'm doing the intimidating TBR tag, I guess. I haven't filmed in ages, uh, but that's mainly due to uh, other things that have been going on in my life. So I thought I'd actually do an interesting, I guess, tag. I really enjoy watching tags and I thought it's a nice way to actually share books that I have on my TBR. So I thought I would do this tag because it makes the most sense for me given the fact that like I have a pretty decent TBR. Like I haven't read all of the books on these shelves. I have read a fair amount but not all of them. I'm using this as an in an attempt to just sort of kick myself up the butt and try and get me to read them. I have my mix of like classics, YA and adult literature on here. It was actually quite interesting going through and finding books for these questions. So I have my laptop with my questions up here. So I'm, if you see me looking off to the side, that's what I'm looking at. This tag was created by Lindsay Ray. If I can find the video, I will link it. I had a look at book blogs actually to get these questions. So I, I guess uh, without further ado, let's get started on this book tag. <laughs> Let me show you what like what my TBR pile looks like. So the first question is which book on your TBR have you not finished? So aside from all of them because most of the books on my TBR I haven't read, I'll show you the book that I'm actually currently reading. This book is This Is Going To Hurt. This is one of my 12 books for 12 months. One of my two sisters actually recommended this to me. This is a book about a junior doctor in the NHS. It's his memoirs so it's actually made of his diary entries from his time in the NHS so you can see different dates. There's lots of medical jargon but I have I've studied science so I'm a biologist and I have taken quite a few like physiology classes. I mean, outside of animal physiology, I have done like reproductive physiology and which is quite interesting because the doctor in here is actually a, a gynecologist. He works in the gyno department, sort of like the labor ward, I guess, at least for the, for the part that I've just read. I find it really interesting. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far, but I have to like, I have to keep putting it down. I started this yesterday and I'm about, um, I guess 20% of the way through. So not finished, uh, currently reading. I'm enjoying it so far. This has been turned into a TV show, I believe that's coming out on the BBC or it has been coming out now. From what I've heard from my mum, uh, it's quite gory. I can read gory stuff in books, but I find it really hard to watch it. So I don't like, I don't like horror films and stuff. Like I don't like horror books either. I don't, I'm not a fan of gore, but for some reason like medicine and like biology stuff doesn't really freak me out as much. I'm enjoying this. I think it's it's actually quite interesting talking about this sort of stuff because given the state that we are in with COVID and everything, it's really interesting to read from a medical professional's perspective and the way that they like compartmentalize themselves uh, in, in regards to treating patients. It's really important that we understand that every, like all human beings have emotions, but certain professions require you to compartmentalize and you have to remove yourself from the equation. Like, lawyers are also another profession that does that. So it's interesting reading this. He is also quite funny in his footnotes because in this, there are footnotes without this talking about the actual medical terms. If you know the medical terms, you don't have to read the footnotes, but I find the footnotes can be quite funny uh, at times, <laughs> at times. Other times they just, they just tell you exactly what it's about and I'm enjoying it. There we go. That's the book that I, on my TBR that I haven't finished because I'm currently reading it. Okay, so the next question in the tag is, what's a book that you haven't had time to read? This one is going to be the, one of the books I got from Christmas. I have been very good and I have read pretty much all of them. I just haven't had time to read this one. So this is Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo. This is a collection of short stories about the Grisha verse. Uh, it's illustrated. It's absolutely beautiful. I just, I haven't had time to read it. All the books that are on my TBR pile, I guess, go in this, like, like, are, can be included in this question, but as the books that I got for, like, a big event, so Christmas, I, I just haven't had time to read this one. I really want to read this, I just haven't had the time and I don't have the opportunity to read it yet. I think if I have time this month, once I finish, like I've got a few side quests for my magical TBR, which is what I'm like focusing on. But once I finish those, then I can just have free reign and I can read. Like 
I'll be able to read The Language of Thorns, hopefully. We'll see if I read it this month. I'm not keeping my hopes up. I just don't have, I just haven't had time. Question number three. What book have you not read because it's a sequel? I have a few, but the one that I'm going to actually say is like, like this is the big one that's like really on top of my TBR. So this is Kingdom of Copper. So this is a part of the David Bad trilogy. This is the second book in it. I really enjoyed City of Brass, which is the first book in this series, but I just haven't, I haven't had the time or like the opportunity to read this. I want to read this book. I just haven't had, like, I just haven't had the time. When I read this, I want to read good chunks of it at a time. But I think part of the reason that I haven't picked this up is because like my bookshop doesn't have access to the third, like the third book in the series. So if I finish this, then what am I going to do? I have to hold off for like empire of gold like i have to hold off until i move hopefully i'll be able to get access soon but uh there we go the fourth question is do you have a book that you haven't read yet because it's brand new so i actually have two books because i recently went to the bookshop and picked these up uh they are uh these two so skin of the sea by natasha bowen and this woven kingdom by Tabara Mafi. I just saw these. I've seen a lot of this on like book Twitter and like Instagram reels. So this is a fantasy book. This is about a kingdom and like a servant and one of the crown princes. So a forbidden romance from the looks of it and a long forgotten queen. Honestly, this has like all the stuff that I like. It's also pretty chunky. I believe this is like this is a standalone as well. These are the chapter, like the start of the chapter pages and they look absolutely stunning. This book is just beautiful. I'm so excited. I've heard about Tabara and Marthy. I've heard about their books before and I'm so excited. Like finally I saw something that actually interested me in the bookshop. So there we go, that's one of them. And the other that I picked up at the same time was Skin of the Sea. So Skin of the Sea, I believe is a mermaid book. I'm a marine biologist. I've always had a fascination with the ocean. I love the sea and I love everything to sort of do with it. I love hydrokinesis and everything. I just find it really, really fun and interesting. This again is a romance. You can tell I'm in like a fantasy romance mood. So this book follows um, Simidele, uh, Simidele, hopefully I'm saying that correctly. And she is a member of the Mami Wata, um, Mami Wata. I apologise for my pronunciation. They're a group of mermaids that collect the souls of those who die at sea. One day she actually ends up saving a boy who is drowning and she ends up having to go on a quest. She goes on a journey to make amends. Hello, editing Ari here. I just wanted to mention that this book is also a mythology retelling. It's to do with West African mythology, so that only adds to my interest. But there we go. Hope you enjoyed my, like, I guess my introduction <laughs> from my computer face cam. This just has, like, the makings of something that I will really love. Like, I love mermaid things. When I was younger, I was obsessed with H2O Just Add Water. I'm sure lots of people were. I just, I just loved anything to do with water and the element of water so this just fascinates me also can I, like both covers for these books are stunning like these are absolutely beautiful and like like oh, i just i love it so much it looks they look so good anyway uh, those are the books that i have recently picked up that i haven't had time to read yet question number five have you got a book by an author you have read from before but don't really like? One thing that I am very good at is now I am very good at not buying like a massive series worth so not buying every book in the series all at once unless I know I definitely love the series like like certain books on my shelf above me. I don't own any books by authors that I don't like. It's one of the things that I don't do like I'm not going to usually if I don't like an author's writing unless the concept really interests me i will drop it if i don't like the writing there's no point me picking up the author again so i i don't have any books <laughs> i don't have any books to answer this question question number six is there a book on your tbr pile that you're not in the mood to read 
So the book that I have picked is one that I'm not in the mood to read yet, but I'm sure I will eventually, The Iliad. I've read sections of The Iliad for my classics class at university. We actually read The Odyssey at university and we only read like small snippets of The Iliad. We didn't even own a copy of The Iliad. I just have one because I'm a classics nerd. I'm just not in the mood to read The Iliad. If you don't know, The Iliad is an epic poem by Homer. Um, Homer didn't actually write it, he spoke it and eventually it got recorded a long long way down the line so some things may not be the same. This follows the last year in the Trojan War. Uh, the Trojan War was a 10 year war between all of the Greek city-states and Troy because the Trojan prince Paris stole Helen who was Menelaus's wife um, because Aphrodite um, offered him the prettiest mortal woman in the world. <laughs> Lots of backstory, um, but I'm, I'm not in the mood to read the Iliad just yet. One day I will eventually read it in its entirety, but I'm just not in the mood to touch it at any time, well, at least not right now. So uh, there we go. Question number seven is what book have you put off reading because it's huge? The only answer to this question is Anna Karenina. This is the longest book that I own. This is nearly a thousand pages. It is, it is massive. You, you could use this as like a doorstop, basically. I do want to read it, but I think I need to, like, because it's so big, I need to listen on Audible as well as read it. That's the way my brain works, particularly with bigger books. Sometimes I get really intimidated and the words can like really jumble up for me. Uh, again, that's that's more of a personal thing. Yeah, this book is heavy. It weighs a lot too. I know the story is really good. Um, Anna Karenina, like the main female character, supposedly has the same Myers Briggs type as I do. So that's interesting. That's sort of what motivated me to actually pick this up, like to get this. But I still haven't read it yet, and. I really actually want to read it, but it's huge and I'm just like, do I have time? I don't have time when I'm working, I really don't, so there. So do you have a book on your TBR that you mostly bought just for the cover? So this is one of the few books that I got purely because of the cover and this is Realm Breaker by Victoria Aveyard. Again, another fantasy surprise. First off, I love the gradient that's going on in the background. I love the foiling and I really enjoy like I really enjoy swords. <laughs> I don't know, I really like the look of a sword on a cover. Really weird thing, but that's just me personally. Like, and the blurb isn't, there isn't much to go on on the blurb. I don't actually know <laughs> what, the, what this is really about, except for the fact that there are lots of people who need to come together and try and save the world. Uh, that's all I know. Hopefully I'll have time to read it, read this at some point, but right now I have no idea when I'm actually gonna pick it up, so. There we go. The last question for this tag is, which book on your TBR do you find the most intimidating? Uh, this is gonna have to be Dune. I like science fiction, but Dune is like the original science fiction. And I have, I've heard that it sort of, it dives right in and look, look how small the text is. The back is full of like, what these things represent which is good that it's in there uh, because if you're confused about certain terms then you, you definitely need them in the book to figure out what they're talking about maybe i should again maybe i should get this on audiobook because it might be easier for me to just commit to it on audiobook the concept of this i know that i probably like the concept i do like science fiction I just find this really intimidating and I feel like if I'm going to commit to this I need to like fully commit to this and I need to like listen to it on audiobook and all that sort of thing because like that's the only way I could probably do it. You would think Anna Karenina is the most intimidating but no, for me Dune is the most intimidating book that I have on my TBR. If you're interested, if I pull Dune in my TBR cards, would you want a reading vlog? Um, if you do, please let me know in the comments because who knows, you guys might enjoy watching me struggle or not, or maybe I'll find it easy, but uh, there we go. So those were the nine questions for this book tag. I had fun. 
it was nice going through my shelves and like actually thinking about things. I really enjoy tags so if you have any tags you actually want me to do please let me know in the comments. This tag's just fun and I think if you're interested in doing this tag I'll try and find a link to the first video with this tag. I'll leave the questions in the description anyway so if you're looking to do this tag the questions will be in the description. I hope this was interesting. I hope you saw a different side of my books than I, maybe you see in my TBR videos and that sort of stuff. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want more bookish content. I hope you have a wonderful day or night, depending on when you're watching this. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!